Confessions 7 What return shall I make to the Lord for my ability to recall these things with no fear in my soul? I will love you, Lord, and thank you and praise your name, because you have forgiven me such great sins and such wicked deeds. I acknowledge that it was by your grace and mercy that you melted away my sins like ice. I acknowledge, too, that by your grace I was preserved from whatever sins I did not commit, for there was no knowing what I might have done since I loved evil even if it served no purpose. I avow that you have forgiven me all, both the sins which I committed of my own accord and those which by your guidance I was spared from committing. What man who reflects upon his own weakness can dare to claim that his own efforts have made him chaste and free from sin, as though this entitled him to love you the less, on the ground that he had less need of the mercy by which you forgive the sins of the penitent? There are some who have been called by you, and because they have listened to your voice, they have avoided the sins which I here record and confess for them to read. But let them not deride me for having been cured by the same doctor who preserved them from sickness, or at least from such grave sickness as mine. Let them love you just as much or even more than I do, for they can see that the same healing hand which rid me of the great fever of my sins protects them from falling sick of the same disease.